First up in part A, we're asked to comment on the relationship between hours spent studying and money earned during turn time by these 10 students. So what we have, it's always worth just sort of thinking what would happen. It's not asked as to what would happen if we try and fit a line of best fit. It fits really well to all of them except this one. Now, I've got to be honest, when I did this question, I just, I just did it too fast. I didn't see that it was two marks. So you are expected to comment on this anomaly. So the sort of thing that you're looking for is, uh, and I wrote it in words, you could say negative correlation, but the more time students spend studying, the less they earned. Um, except for one student. So I feel like that quite nicely summarizes the general trend. We could even say negative correlation, but I'll leave it like that. Here's the mark scheme in fact. Okay, so looking for reference about negative correlation and looking for uh, this some reference to the anomaly. Just hold it there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of it. I think my, my answer is pretty decent. We're then given the coordinates and asked to find the mean and standard deviation of the number of hours, just the number of hours spent per week studying during term time. So that is going to be x. It wants us to find x bar and the standard deviation of x. So we can basically ignore y and just look at all the first numbers. Now you can do this the long way, which is to use the formula, but this question is only two marks. It's expecting us to put it into our calculator using the statistics function. And it's one variable, because we're not interested in the y. So we just need to write, put them all in at one at a time. It's a, you know, it's just a, a list of data rather than a frequency table. All right, and then an option, one variable calculation, and we're done. X bar is 28.9 hours. And the, whoops, the standard deviation, this sigma X is 7.93. Nice.